kind of want to make a little video um, about this early focaccia tree. Um, fairly old one. You can see how thick it is at the base. Um, it's a tree that is going to get taken out because it, it has served its function um, and it needs to make way for other trees and plants to take its place. Um, it did an amazing job back when this was nothing but this grass everywhere. Uh, but now that there's more life, uh, this tree needs to come down. You can see that I actually already pruned it pretty radically last year. I left this bare and used all that organic matter to help start the whole system. So it already has its has its imprint in the system. You know, it's kind of like the ancestor, the grandfather of the system because it helped this thing grow. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of how this area will look and all the biomass that's going to be accumulated after this thing gets filled, felled so that um, it'll create an abundant place for things to thrive right here. So it's coming down, but it's done such a beautiful job for this system and uh, it will always be remembered and will live on in the system through the bananas and other trees that I plant in its place. So thank you, Lificacia, for everything you've done. So the tree is down, letting some sunlight into that middle passageway. Um, and I just wanted to show the color of this growth, just the vigor of this growth. This is a direct result of last year's pruning to this tree. Just look at the strength with which this tree resprouted with. Um, and all these branches are just a healthy green in the prime of their life, so to speak. And this is the kind of material that you want for your system. So again, you can see my last year's cuts which I used all that material already like I said before here's another I mean just look at this the vigor and strength with which this tree came back with and it will supply it'll, it'll end up supplying the future generation of plants where that tree once stood Super rough sketch of the bed so far, but I don't have time to be all fancy because this is something I probably should have done in the dry season, but better late than never. So yeah, I made a little moat pretty much with a hoe and a pickaxe, just dug up the sides and mounted it all in the middle so that I had little, I have channels to put the organic matter into. Um, and this has a multiple this has a lot of benefits because it will hold the bed all together, sort of structure the bed, as well as provide that tiny bit of a elevation. Um, because I don't know if you saw in other videos, I mean, in a video I did last week or so, I forget when, we got pretty nasty uh, rain here for like a day and a half straight and uh, this area got really flooded. So having that tiniest little bit of earthworks, I think, uh, will help with with flooding issues because I did the same for this bed and um, the water was all around the bed and not actually in the bed and this was probably the most flooded area so from my observations <laughs> this little extra step of earthworks um, brings nothing but benefits because the logs being in the actual channels gives uh, makes it easier for microorganisms to break the logs down so yeah. All right, so the bed is finished and uh, you can see just how much organic matter this early for case tree produced. You can't even see the 
can't even get to the... There's the soil. You can't even see the logs either. The logs are nice and covered up. So the soil life will have a better environment to, to work on those logs and decompose them. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Gonna probably plant a banana in here and some other support species around it. Um, but again, just look at all that biomass. And that was from an older tree that I had already pruned. And that's the power of pruning. You can rejuvenate an older tree by pruning it. It'll st stimulate the tree to send forth new vigorous growth. And that's exactly what this did. I pruned it a year ago and it gave me all that growth. And like I said before, when I pruned it originally, it went into the making of those beds. So this acacia tree has served so many functions um, in the past year and some change. So there it is. No mulch brought in, just using the local resources that Mother Nature provides us, invasive or not.